everyone and welcome to Nora's Cove or welcome back. I'm Yoshida and today we're going to be doing our monthly budget. Y'all, please forgive me, but I was supposed to print out, um, yeah, I was supposed to print out the weekly, the new insert this a weekly. I'm going to try to have them in the shop this weekend, like Friday, but this is the new monthly for 2023 uh, some people like to see color so um i thought i'd go with a neutral color something that i think that i could work with as well because i'll be using them now don't get me wrong i like these but i figured it was time for a new update i'm sort of working on <clears throat> excuse me um sort of working on another bundle so i think what i'm gonna do Maybe this weekend is run a special on all budget inserts so that we can just, you know, get going with 2023. And I may put these in a bundle or something, but these will definitely be, if I do decide to do a bundle, these new ones will be in there. So I'm trying to look at old stuff just to make sure. Um, I think this was our last one. Uh, uplift. I need to put that there. Let me add that as well because I don't, there it is. It's there. Okay. So I'm going to use this as my guide. I won't be doing the monthly layout because I think it's just kind of time consuming. So of course this is 2022. So I'll just show you basically how I planned this and how I plan for it to be used. Um, like this was just a little test one that I did and like I see just something that needs to be fixed, like the lines need to be brought forward. But um, other than that, um, I think it's gonna work. Okay, so we have our year. Um, let's highlight, let me use this gray one. I think it's on the taupey side. And we're gonna put October. I'm a little late. And every month I put down that I'm gonna be doing my monthly setup on the 25th, never happens. So I was gonna actually skip this, but I said, you know what? Let me just go ahead and do it. Um, I did that wrong already. The source is hair. And then I would put the amount, what I'm expecting. Last month, I did... Yeah, let's review last month real quick. I'm kind of all over the place. But last month, I guesstimated 3500 I ended up doing 4400 I guesstimated Norse Cove 100. I haven't checked that, but I believe we came in like at 134. I'm going to do a little more promoting. And so our total was four, five, three, four, zero, zero. So $4,534 total. Again, car insurance got paid. I paid that like just the other day I paid this month. I don't know why I pay it late. I, I just don't know. That in my um, T-Mobile bill is always just late. Insta Ink, still, I've not seen where that's come out, but we're going to add it to the budget. So here on this insert, you have two income columns, which basically gives you four in case you have four streams of income. If you need more, um, maybe this is not the insert for you. Um, here you have your savings, you have your sinking funds, the total that you're going to do for the month, the cash envelopes that you're going to do for the month. <clears throat> All that's here. Here you have your variable expenses. Here you have your fixed expenses. I don't do variable and fixed. I kind of put all of mine together. Um, but some people need a separate um, for variable and fix. But what I will put over here are my sinking funds, I think. Um, for this month, for my savings, I want to have at least 100. So I'll just go ahead and fill that out. Uh, sinking funds, let me get my calculator because um, I'm trying to make it like where it's $75 a week. So 75 times four is $300. So I'm going to see if I can fit that into the budget. And of course, if there's more, it will be. Cash envelopes. I haven't really been stuffing my cash envelopes because those are those like variable expenses, I guess. But um, I'm not even going to fill that in. I'm not going to fill it in. So I'll just leave that there. And then we have Norris Cove. Let me put this 
4,000. So I'm up in my income just a little bit. Since last month we did 4,400 and I guess I made it 35. I'm going to just bring it in at four. Norris Cove, because things are picking up. I'm having some of my pre-COVID clients come back in. I'm so grateful. And so Norris Cove, we're going to do 150. That means I have to really do some work. <laughs> um, I'm not going to put anything down for miscellaneous. Well, I guess I will. Miscellaneous. And I'll just put nothing there. So our total is $4,150. So variable expenses, things like gas, all that pretty much is supposed to come out of my sinking funds. But here lately, I've been paying that. I'm going to put that there. Gas a month, I'd say $150. Because I'm putting like $50, even with the little... I have a little just small truck, a Hyundai so truck. So um, I'm spending, still spending about 50. So, and I fill up maybe every two weeks, sometimes more if there's a lot going on. So I got gas, groceries. I'm going to add those. And this is kind of like an example. And I think I've explained to you about the groceries. Like me and my husband, he pays the majority of it. I catch it on the light weeks when maybe the mortgage or something is due. And sometimes that's just an extra hundred. Um, gas, groceries, self-care, which I really, I do everything myself, my nails, all that. But I may need a pedicure, so I guess I'll get me one good one by someone else before I do. And that's pretty much... I don't do shopping, you know, just because I've been trying to save. Um, planning is into my sinking funds as far as my hobbies go. Um, eating out, that's in the sinking funds, all of that. But I'm going to still put eating out here because sometimes it's just not in an envelope. So, and I'm going to put $100. Like I said, I like to just add the pretty much the four walls and bills and that's it for me. So here we have, let's see, we said 50, 152, 3, 4. That's $400 in just um, variable expenses. So feel free to use that. Okay, and let's go over to our fixed ex expenses. And we're going to just be doing from here. Um, on our fixed expenses, we have Amazon. And I already paid that. And that's $15.89. And that was actual. So I'm just going to check it. You can write it if it's different, but I just check it. Community, I paid them and they actually, I gave them $30. So I'm going to check that. Um, Shopify. Shopify need to make up their mind with date. They started me out like on the 8th. Then they moved it to the 7th. Then they moved it to the 3rd. Then this month they tried to get it out on the 1st. I'm like, well, I wasn't prepared. Um, they're $39 for the month and I haven't paid them. Um, credit one. I just scheduled that payment today. Uh, my pen wants to be a little shady. So let's add a piece of paper behind here. And credit one got $30, which I was surprised it was cheap. We got Wal Canva and Walmart. I don't see Walmart on my list here. Let me put Walmart. And Walmart got 28. I had paid them off. They offered me some more money. Let me check these off. And I accepted it. And I kind of ran it back up. Canva. Canva is $13.77. Y'all, if my camera's shaking, I'm so sorry. I, I need to figure out a better tripod situation. Chase. Um, Chase normally gets like 40, but for some reason, I'm thinking they are like $127 this month. I don't know what happened there. I think interest. I don't know about anybody else, but for me, things that wasn't getting interest, all of a sudden it's getting interest. Like my PayPal, I didn't have anything that had to be paid off to you know like before interest kicked in but everybody's hitting me with interest and it's, it's just out of control anywho capital one so i think my whole tax check if i get one will be um, going to paying off credit um capital one is 25 Citibank. i think i normally give them 40 
And again, I still have the room to go over here and change it to if whatever it is, if it's different. Um, Barclays. Barclays. Oh, God, I'm so over Barclays. I don't know what the heck to do. I'm going to put 70 down for them. Got them under the amount. They hit me with $50 worth of interest every month. So definitely, I'm just basically keeping them so I don't mess up my credit. I'm just keep paying them, which I think I'm just wasting my time. But when I get my... Um, taxes. I don't care if all I get is 2000 It's all going to Barclays because I am sick of them. Like, sick of them. So, normally I break up my car note, but I'm just going to do one car note and the total is 363 I think, 20 But it's 181.60. Yeah, it's 181.60 like every 10 days. Okay, car insurance. I do have the room for it. Car insurance is going to be a little different this month because I added a car onto my car insurance, so I don't know. Let me see. If I did the math right, it's like an extra 180 plus 211, 391, but it's still really my 211 because my daughter's going to be giving me the money for that, so I'm just going to still put 211, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, T-Mobile, oh God. I need to call them, tell them to take off these late fees. And I really want to get my highest credit card, which is Chase. I want to get that down so that T-Mobile could be a reoccurring thing that comes out automatically. I would save money and then just pay it. You know what I mean? Like, I could just pay it better that way. So, T-Mobile, I'm just going to put $300. i am sure to be more. Um, GoDaddy. That is who my... Um, websites and email and stuff is from but i'm just paying monthly for the email when i should have did it by the year but it was kind of too late and whatever uplift won't use them again they're not a problem but it's just uh wish that wouldn't have did it paypal should have been a little patient paypal <sighs> paypal hit me with some interest so now it's like i'm over my limit so i'm gonna put them down for 60 and will not be using them again no time soon. Insta Ink, I'm just going to put them down. But again, who knows? I don't know. Maybe they took it out and the money was just there and I didn't miss it. So Booth Rent. So for the month of September, I had $1,450 down. So that's like an extra $450. Um, my balance is down to $230. Let me divide that by 4 it's 57.50. So I'm gonna do I should be able to pay the seven dollars fifty cent. So an extra fifty. What did I say? Hold on. So basically twelve hundred and thirty dollars is what my booth rent needs to be. So I'm almost done with that. Um and I'm still catching up from when I was out sick in the hospital. C and P, I should have put them up top. But they got theirs and they were 38. And I feel like I'm forgetting something. Let me look through my monthly um, just real quickly. Just to make sure of last month. Citibank, Barclays, PayPal, Car Insurance, Go Daddy Go. Everything is here. I did community. Yep. Shopify, Credit One, Uplift. Something, I feel like it's something. It's uplift. I got them. Capital One, Citibank, Amazon. Okay. So, yeah, that's everybody. I don't know why I feel like I'm missing somebody. It'll come to me. If it does, I'll write it here. And then once we do the review, um, yeah, so let's do a little math. I keep gravitating to this. Let me use, let me switch out. I just like this one because I can see, but I like this one as well because it's white. I know it's, it's not that serious, Yoshida, but let me do this calculator. So let me do a little calculating. Thank you. 
without my variable expenses, we have $2,661.27. Let me write it out here. $2,000. Two seven. Two seven. Okay, now I'm going to add my variables are 400. So let's just click those. So that's $3,061.27. I didn't even calculate miscellaneous. I'm just going to put, I'm going to highlight this and put miscellaneous as well, like as an add on. And I think that to be about 200. So that's really 600. Still not bad. Let me add that 200 on. This calculator is slipping out my hand. Okay, so that would be, be $3,261.27. And I've guesstimated $4,150. I'm going to leave that in the notes. So now let's subtract this from the $4,150. That leaves me with $800. Yeah, I might have to rework this envelope 66127. That leaves us with $800. $88.73. So, like I said, in my cash envelopes, it's normally eating out. Um, I have 100 So, what I think I'm going to do is just make sure that the cash envelope gets that eating out. I stick to the eating out budget. I really eat out more than that. I'm just trying to make a budget because... As y'all saw in my last video, I said that I need to work my husband into my budget to be able to give him more. And it looked like it would be there. So I just have to figure out where money is slipping out. <laughs> I'm doing this motion. Money is slipping out somewhere. So we need to figure out where that's at. But this is pretty much how I would use this sheet. You could use it whichever way, whichever way would work best for you. You can always improvise things like just like here, um, like I noticed here, I have my income sources on these. I had a total, you understand? So I don't have a total here. So what I did was make sure that the total was here. Um, I don't really need a total box, but I do love them. So I probably would like these. I like these. I like these as well. I like the color to them. Um, cash envelopes. I didn't fill that out, but again, this is pretty much my cash envelopes, which would be my um, variable expenses. So six hundred dollars would probably be needed for the cash envelope. So I'm just gonna put six hundred. So you could do that. And then your sinking funds, my goal is to have at least $75 a week. Now with this extra here, I know that I could add a little bit more, at least try to make it $100 a week. Um, so that would be roughly like $400. And then my savings, I want to do $100. So we didn't take that off. So let's subtract $100. And that basically leaves us with $788.73. So, still pretty good. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, y'all, still ain't right. I just realized I didn't take the 600 off. So, and the sinking funds. So, we ain't got no money left. <laughs> Let's do this math real quick. Let's start over. Let me start over completely. Okay, if I did this correctly, and I think that I did, I subtracted 700 um, for var variable expenses, which was the cash envelopes, 300 for sinking funds, 100 for savings, and 
because savings are kind of just saved not in envelopes here lately and then the two thousand six hundred and sixty one dollars for all my fixed expenses so i really kind of jacked myself up but i will say this that i'm glad that i have this variable expense um chart now and including cash envelopes because as you guys can see I was not adding my sinking funds on this sheet. Even though they're here, I wasn't adding them. It really wasn't room for them. So, I mean, it was room for them, but I just really didn't know. But now, this helps me to set an amount for my sinking funds. It helps me to set an amount for my savings. It helps me to set amount for my cash um, envelopes. So, I will be using this again. I need to play with it a little bit more. Um, so probably next month, I'll probably use it differently um, and play with it a little bit more just to see. Um, I may even go back in and put like totals up under here because I may need a total. <laughs> I may need some totals. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with this envelope. I may go back in and I sent one out for a review to my friend Anika. So I'll just resend it to her. But I think I need to add totals Maybe bring this down some, some, but I needed some totals. I, I definitely need some totals. And I'm thinking, could I put something else here? Hmm. Yeah, so y'all let me know what you think about this insert. We're going to work with it. We're going to figure it out. Um, again, it's definitely uh, needed, especially if you're like me and you have to have a budget. I need a budget. So we're gonna put this back in and yeah. So that was inter interesting and I've held, this is what I like about my half letter. I can hold all my inserts for um, the whole year in here. And I think what I'm gonna do is make me another half letter or either I might take one of my old happy planners and stick these in here because when tax time come, all I have to do is just go in month to month i think i might have missed the month of august maybe in here but i can still guesstimate because i know i didn't make a lot of money in august and i can get uh, my total so yeah let me know what you all thought about this insert if you have a different way that you would use it let me know again as usual thank you all so much for watching thank you for tuning in and i appreciate your support you guys we need some more money okay i need some more money <laughs> so Make sure that you are commenting, subscribing, ringing that bell, and watching all the way through because right now I have the subscribers. I just don't have the um, hours watched. And for some reason, I probably lost some since last year. So I got to get my watch hours up. I'm not going to continue to ramble. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.